What's going on YouTube? Magic Man here, and as you can see, I'm bringing you an ear, uh, in real life video. This, here's my seasons, and there's one hour until the cup opens. So um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hopefully some record some cup gameplay. As you can see, I'm at the start of Division 6. Um, trying to edit, get a few more uh, seasons edited before, um, before I carry on and do Division 6. There's my record, 19 wins, 3 losses, uh, 3 and 3 draws. Um, two of the losses were due to connection. Um, but anyway, what I wanted to uh, use this video as is to show you this. So what I did, well, I'll first say um, I'm at college doing a HNC in electrical engineering, wanting to go into mathematical physics, so my math tutor put up this as is something that is math, like mathematical physics, basically. So proof of the time for the Earth to orbit the Sun, you'll know it. It's a year, 365 days, but this is how they figured it out. So they have these three equations, force equals the mass of Earth times the, oh, I've got a key here, speed, I think it's the speed of light possibly, or just speed of the, the Earth travels in orbit. Um, so that's squared over the radius of the Earth. Um, force also equals the gravitational constant times the mass of the Sun times the mass of the Earth over the radius of the Earth squared and the speed of the Earth's orbit also equals the the d is actually I put, uh, it's actually the circumference of the Earth over the time which is what you're trying to find out the time it takes for the Earth to orbit the Sun so the first thing you have to do since f has two equations you can make them equal each other as you see there then times out the r's um, you can cancel off the m's on both sides, so you're left with you know, v squared r equals g m. Uh, take r over to the other side by dividing it, and then take the square root of both sides to get that equation. So you've got v, make it equal v, and now you've got two equations that equal v. Make them equal each other, d over t. Rearrange for t, so t equals the circumference over the square root of the gravitational constant times the mass of the sun over the radius of the earth. I've got the values just search them online, so the circumference is 9.4 times 10 to the power of 11 meters, the mass of the sun is 1.99 times 10 to the power of 30 kilograms, gravitational constant is 6.7 times 10 to the negative 11, uh, I don't know the units that, and the radius of the earth is 1.5 times 10 to the power of 11 meters as well. So plug in those values, plug it into the calculator, and that gives you this answer, big number in seconds, divided by 60 to get it in minutes, divided by 60 to get it in hours, divided by 24, and there you have the final answer, 364.9 days. And that's, is, that's how you do prove that the Earth takes 365 days to orbit the Sun. So that's what I did in math the other day, um, instead of doing the math work. So yeah, I've got that on my mirror, I was quite proud of managing to do all that. Um, he only gave me the equations, I managed to do the rest myself. And so yeah, um, I'll be recording Cup soon, so stay tuned for that. But for now, this is Magic Man, and I'm signing out.